We believe restraining your dog in the car is essential to not only keep him safe in the event of a collision, but also to prevent him from being the furry distraction that causes the collision. Today, we are using the Click It three-point dog harness by Sleepy Pot. We chose the Click It because it garnered the top performing harness designation in the Center for Pet Safety's 2013 Dynamic Testing Harness Study. These harnesses are designed to be used for dogs over 18 pounds. For smaller dogs, Sleepy Pod recommends their soft carriers like this. The proper size harness is crucial for your dog's safety and comfort. SleepyPod.com has directions for measuring your pooch before you order. And make sure you do that, because my 10 pound Jack Russell did not fit. The harness comes with three adjustable components. The Y-shaped vest that your dog wears, and two tethers that secure the dog to your car's latch child safety restraint anchors. Before Jen gets Sydney all excited about our car trip, she'll attach the two tether straps to the back seat anchors of the car. She uses her hand to find the two U-shaped anchors. Hooks go in sideways and then turn them upwards to attach to the anchor bar, making sure they catch securely. Now the harness goes on Sydney. The collar extends from the top of the Y and has a leash ring attached. Put the vest on the dog's chest and close the collar. Jen uses the slide adjuster to fit the collar snugly. It's right when she can place three fingers underneath. The slide adjuster tucks back into the Y harness and Jen makes sure the leash ring is at the back of Sydney's neck. Next, she brings the longer straps across Sydney's back, connecting them at the bottom of the vest on opposite sides. These also have slide adjustments and must also be three fingers snug underneath the point where the two straps cross. Notice the two D rings at the bottom where the straps connect. Secure them with the Velcro closures when walking the dog or else they'll jingle jangle around when your dog is walking. You use them later to attach the tethers. At this point, Jen checks the collar again to make sure it's still three fingers snug and adjusts it if necessary. Now she can snap on Sydney's leash and take her to the car. Jen sits Sydney between the tethers with her back end touching the seat back. Unvelcro the D-rings and hook the free end of the tether through both rings, making sure to have the open side of the hook facing away from the dog. These are point one and point two of the three-point system. Lastly, thread the seatbelt underneath the straps where they cross Sydney's back and click it in. That's point number three. For smaller dogs under 18 pounds like Busy, this Sleepy Pod air carrier does the trick and is easily secured with your car's seatbelt. Now we're all strapped in, including the dog, so we're off to the park.